Hello, this is Richard with FunRCBoats.com. Just kind of doing a quick tutorial on how to set up the high tech multi charger. This is true of any of the high tech chargers. Uh, this one happens to be the uh, X2 400, 400 watt charger. Great for big batteries, but uh, it's, this program is the same regardless of which battery you use. So, your battery type button is the first one you set. You can cycle through the different options uh, depending on what kind of battery. In this case, we're going to be doing a uh, a lithium battery, so we'll go ahead and press set, uh, press the start on there. Your first mode is your regular charge mode. That charges just straight, straight through these main leads without actually balancing the battery. Uh, ideally, you don't really want to do that. If you're in a hurry, you can do that, but it'll get it charged, but you're really on a regular basis, don't want to do that. Uh, second mode is going to be your balance mode, and that's pretty much how you really want to set, uh, do most of your charging, is balance charging. That way, everything is always going to be the same. Uh, each, each cell inside the battery pack is going to be exactly the same as you go. Uh, the third mode uh, is kind of a leftover mode. This is the fast charge mode. We really don't use that because pretty much every battery is kind of in its own way kind of fast charged. It's char as fast as we can safely charge it. Uh, the uh, mode after that is going to be your storage mode. That's a great mode if you're, if you're going to be sitting a battery. It'll either charge or discharge the battery to, uh, to reach the proper storage voltage. Uh, and then the other mode is going to be your discharge mode, which you don't usually use generally, but that's a way you can just take a little bit off the top of a battery if you're going to let it sit for a little while. Um, so we'll go back through and we're going to set, right in this case we're going to be setting a, a balanced charge. So this particular battery is from the Unique Quad Copter. It's a 5400 milliamp and it's a 3 cell, 11.1 .1 volt. Uh, so in this case we're going to be charging at a 1C charge rate, which means we're going to be charging at 5.4 amps. Uh, it is a three uh, a three cell battery, which is three, is, and the S actually stands for three in series, 11.1 uh, volt battery. So we're going to go ahead and you press start once. Once everything is hooked up, so you're going to hook up your battery here. You use an EC3 connector on this particular one. Your balance lead adapter that plugs right into your uh, right into your plug there. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and press start, and you hold the start. It'll check your battery, and then press it one more time, and it will begin to charge. So what it's doing here is it's telling you, it's right now it's charging at 5.4 amps. The overall vo voltage is 12.54 volts. The amount of time it's charging, and then that's the number of milliamps it's putting into the battery. Uh, if you press the button here, it'll change and show you the actual voltage of each individual battery within the cell. Cell 4, of course, is zero, because uh, there is no cell 4 in this. And then if you cycle through, you get cell 5 and cell 6. So actually, I'll back up just a second here. So. If you're not, if you have to change the settings, you're going to press the start once, and then that way you can increase or decrease your amperage settings. And you press also press start the second time, and you'll increase and decrease. And then once again, if you press and hold, that's when you go into your charging mode. It's checking the battery. It's telling it'll, it'll say it's three in series, three in series. You confirm to press enter, and then press start again. That's when it starts charging. So there's one other thing you can do here. And this was some discussion on, on one of the forums today, which is why I'm doing this video. So if you go back through here and you cycle through your different battery types, um, the you go to the program settings. So you press start here, and the first section is your light, your voltage type. So you're setting up for a lithium battery. This will also change if you're using a lithium ion or some of the other batteries. But I'm going to cycle through here for a second. So you go through here, check time. Uh, you'll go through here to your peak sensitivity, which is more of a sense of something you use for nickel metal hydrides. Same thing with uh, NICADs. You also get a temperature cutoff right now. It's set to cut off at 176 degrees. If the sensor sec senses 176 degrees, it'll shut itself off. Uh, you also have waste time, which is the amount of time it waits between charging and discharging if you're cycling a battery. Um, the trickle charge milliamps, for, for, that's for lead acid, nickel metal, and NICADs. Uh, safety timer currently is set to off. It's normally this, the default is 120 minutes. Um, the capacity here is 5,000 milliamps set off. Set at 5,000 milliamp. It's uh, it's set currently set it off, and the cutoff is 5,000 milliamps. But since it's, uh, if you want to turn that on, you could set that on, and you can set it for whatever milliamps you thought the maximum size battery you were going to charge. Um, so that's gonna. So in this case, we're gonna turn it back off because I don't use that because it'll automatically shut off whenever the battery voltage in the individual cell voltage reaches 4.2 volts per cell. So now we're gonna go back here, key beat buzzer, a couple other little uh, things it's got, and then now we go back to lipo 
So right now, voltage. if you hit start, it's going to cycle through the different types of voltages. So if you go to lithium ion, it's going to set for 3.6 volts per cell. If you set for lithium iron, it sets for 3.3 volts per cell. And lithium polymer. So if you're going to go and actually charge the other battery that comes with you, the unique, which is this battery right here, this one right here, which is a lithium ion battery, the lithium ion, you'll just simply go set your settings for lithium ion and hit enter. And then now it's set to charge for lithium ions, and you charge this. It's a 3.6 volt, which is a one cell, which means you don't have to balance charge. And then you'll just charge these leads through a little uh, JST adapter. Uh, that's pretty much the rundown of this charger. If you have any questions, you can reach us at richard at funrcboats.com uh, or find us on the web at www.funrcboats.com.